curtain closes and the flame turns to a dim glow the lights on stage then flicker out her thoughts are spinning about the show after the hoots and hollers once the music Like a Pisces, 
sings, sings just like a Leo. She's a preacher of fortunes and understanding. All burning souls and mind she inspires with every word. And that lady, grassland woman, stronger than a thick black ox, faster than the race horse. Mind as sharp as all the tips of her tools. She's a mother of flora and fauna, bringing life into the world. She awakens Sister Earth, that woman. Ooh. But they don't. But I'm mighty, and they can sure feel me. Oh, sister, send your power to me, and I'll send my power and my love to thee. Cause I'm a woman living in a mister's world, and it doesn't matter. You think I'm just a girl Cause I am here for My daughters and my daughter's daughters Paving ways and forging rivers You'll remember me Cause I'm that
just a small girl from the north, but I'm mighty. No, they can't show feel me. Oh, sister, send your power to me, and I'll send my power and my love to thee. Cause I'm a woman living in a mister's world, and it doesn't matter if you think I'm just a girl. And I am here for my daughter and my daughter's daughter Paving ways and forging rivers, you'll remember me Cause I'm that woman and she's that woman And you're that woman Ooh. Welcome, everybody. Um, my name's Mallory Chipman. On guitar, we have Brett Hansen, and he's even going to be singing a couple of lines for you later tonight, so awfully exciting. Literally a couple of lines. <laughs> so you can plug your ears for only about five seconds. <laughs> um, we are so excited to be here at the Yardbird Suite. Um, this has been part of the Yardbird Suite digital series that launched at the beginning of May, featuring a handful of artists from Edmonton who are all absolutely wonderful um, and who are either playing solo or duo with someone they might be isolating with. But what's kind of unique about tonight is we are the first night actually in the venue. And just in case any of you are at home panicking, thinking, what are they doing? Is the Yardbird open? It's just us in here, so no worries. Um, it's awfully strange to see this place this empty as we are here performing. Usually the Yardbird has such a wonderfully warm crowd, but uh, yeah, we're happy to see some people joining us at home. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, that first tune, Brett actually suggested we play, and I thought what a great fitting idea seeing as we just had Mother's Day um, pretty recently here, and that song celebrates, I wrote kind of as a celebration for uh, several different empowering and inspiring and just really wonderful women in my life. So I think my mom is watching and that goes out to you. This is one of those moments where you're like, hi mom on TV. Um, but yeah, next up we are going to play something else. I don't know, do you wanna? We can see your comments uh, on the little TV up here. So if uh, we'd love to say hi, so please say hi. <laughs> That's true. We do have a little monitor with comments. So, um, yeah, this next one is a tune that was made most famous, I think, um, on a record called Birth of the Cool. Brett and I have been playing this song for a very long time, probably like eight years. We've been playing this song together now. Um, it's called Boplicity. Do da day down the lay low do dip don't they out bubble bubble bit do day the lay low do 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 ya do 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 don't they don't they out bubble bubble bit do do but up day down the day you do dip don't they out bubble bubble bit do dip the lay low do 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 they do 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 don't they out don't they you pop a baby low down? Say a papa bay. Let a little bay. Lay a papa bay. So that that day I do the vovo bay Do the day out. Do they do do the bed? Do lay it out. Bubble for me for the loot up. It began as an experiment A little new, but with the time cleverly spent It woke up musical minds, and boy, it sure made a dent And so we know that bebop lives Dizzy Bird and Miles, they played it their way Swing time people didn't figure it would stay But they split, wouldn't you know Because the time was passe And so we know that we've And then there was a cat 
who then started to sketch. It made impressions that establishing a school became a popular pastime because Bob was in its prime. Will differentiate the hot and the cool. Second, third generation still blow all the flat and fifths. That we certainly know, like Coco, don't forget for and then there's night in Tunny, just so we know that Biba Biba lives. Awesome. Um, I saw a friend of mine, Emily, comment. I'm pretty sure I don't have my glasses on, so I'm. I was laughing because I'm like, wow, I can't read these comments. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think I saw her right, but she remembers us playing that song back at McEwen, which is awesome because yeah, that's that's how long we've been playing that, and it's one that is really fun and we haven't done in quite a while. But for me, it is very sort of suited suited to the Yardbird Suite because it was the very first tune I ever sang at a jam here, and so. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Um, you should talk about this one. Oh, we're doing my turn. Oh. 
Great. Um, we're going to do a tune of mine now, um, changing gears just a little bit. Um, this was a, one of the first tunes I have ever written. Um, I had I wrote this, I guess, in maybe 2000, uh, 2015 or 2014 or 2015. We were doing a show here uh, during the Edmonton Jazz Festival with the Edmonton Jazz Collective here at the Yardbird Suite. And they said everyone has to bring in some tunes if they're arrangements or, or whatever. And I thought it was a great uh, idea to bring in some original music and really kick my butt in uh, bringing some of that in. So... Um, this is a tune called Heading North uh, that I wrote about um, driving back home uh, during the winter time uh, from school very late at night or early in the morning when uh, the sun was still down and the snow was coming, coming right at me. So uh, this is called Heading North. And when he says back home, he means north to uh, St. Albert, yeah. all the way there, yeah. all the way up north in St. Albert. Bye-bye. 
We haven't really done any of these uh, streaming concerts that have become so uh, so trendy and important uh, over the last uh, couple of months. So it's very strange to play a tune and just hear absolutely nothing. It's crazy. Um, but we're usually having we get booed. Yeah, exactly. Like There's usually no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening. We're seeing some some nice comments on the on the TV here. We appreciate it. Um, we're gonna do another one, Mike. Awesome. We're going to do one more tune of mine that um, I ended up naming after this wonderful human. Um, I don't really have a lot else to say about it. She's great. Uh, Here is a a tune um, that I wrote called Jane's Song. This while Brett's tuning, um, I figured I'd mention... If you are liking what you're hearing tonight, or if you are, you know, just wanting something to do with your Friday, Saturday, or Tuesday night, um, these are going on here at the Yardbird Suite as part of the virtual series until the end of May. So if you're free from 7 to 8, any Friday, Saturday, or Tuesday, please do tune in. Um, Tomorrow night, Stephanie Urquhart is doing a solo piano show here, which we're definitely going to be tuning in for. And uh, Tuesday night is Peter Zawalski doing a solo guitar concert as well. Um, And then many more wonderful artists to come um, off the top of my head. Chris Andrew, Sierra Jamerson, Louise Dawson, Ellen Doty with Murray Wood. Um, goodness, there are plenty. Aretha Tillotson. Just t- tune in and you won't be disappointed because they're all really, really outstanding, outstanding musicians. So this is Jane's song. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's a Brad Hansen composition, everybody. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to have that song dedicated to you. I'm like, wow. And for the, the funniest part is, before he named it that, it was temporarily for about two years titled, What Do I Call This Song, Damn It? So there you go. I have a, I have a terrible time naming tunes. And it's not because I'm not inspired. I think it's mostly because I'm shy. So <laughs> Committing to something is, yeah. yeah. So if you, have, you know, if, you have a bad, if you have a bad song title, then... Is it a bad song? I don't know. No. Who knows? So uh, if you name it after a great person, then it's got to be good. So um, what's next? Okay, speaking of cheese, yeah. um, this next tune is a, a really cheesy and wonderful, a wonderful song. It's oh. a uh, standard that we love so much. Um, yeah, it's just one of those tunes that I think is underplayed, but it's so easy to love. It's called Stars Fell on Alabama. <laughs> We lived our little drama We kissed in a field of white And stars fell on Alabama Last night I can't forget the glamour uh, Your eyes held a tender night When stars fell on Alabama night I can't believe in my imagination a situation so heavenly a fairy land where no one else can enter and at the center just you and me dear my heart beat like a hammer my arms wound around you tight when the stars fell on Alabama last night
I can't believe in my imagination a situation so heavenly, a fairy land where no one else can enter, and at the center, just you and me, my dear. My heart beat like a hammer. Your arms are wrapped around me tight And stars fell on Alabama And the stars fell on Alabama And the stars fell on Alabama Last Okay. I almost forgot to sing on that one. <laughs> that like, I'm glad you did, though. Yeah, we're playing it. We're great. Ah. <laughs> um. um, Suzanne, yeah. We have a little set list here. It's hard to keep track of playing nine tunes in a row. I mean, like, we've been jamming the odd tune at home, but, you know, gigs have been sparse, as I'm sure you are aware. Yeah. And so it's like, it's definitely not only turning back on the musical brain, but also like how to memorize a set list and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, so we're cheating. <laughs> um, this and, and carry your gear, too. That's what we were and saying. And how to carry your gear. As we were rolling in here, I said, oh, my shoulders and my, my arms are a little <laughs> weaker than they seemed uh, a couple of months ago. So. Yeah. We had to take a break on the way from the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a song that Brett and I recorded, actually, as a duo for the most part, uh, our friend Cameron O'Neill recorded some percussion on this. And, uh, but primarily, it was, it was a duo recording and some overdubbed harmonies that I did. And I almost totally forgot about this recording that we did. Um, this was on a record I put out in 2017 called Rags and Feathers, which is a tribute to Leonard Cohen. And the title of the record actually comes from a lyric from this song. And uh, we were talking to Cody on CKUA a couple weeks ago on International Jazz Day and after I wrapped up my interview with him he was like we're gonna play Mallory Chipman's version of Suzanne and I was like I totally forgot we recorded that because it feels like light years ago we haven't gigged with it recently and it was so fun to listen to again and, and relearn and relearn absolutely <laughs> um, but yeah so we just thought okay well now that that's kind of in our minds again it's a great one um, and it's Leonard Cohen is just sort of an unparalleled, wonderfully esteemed songwriter. And we really love the lyrics in this one particularly. So this is a little bit of a different arrangement, obviously, than his. And enjoy, Suzanne. Da 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 da
Suzanne takes you down to her place by the river. You can see the boats go by. You can spend the night forever, and you know that she's half crazy, but that's why you wanna be there. And she feeds her tea and oranges that come all the way from China. And just when you mean to tell her that you've got no love to give her, then she gets you on her wavelength, and she lets the river answer that she's always been your lover. And you wanna travel with her, and you wanna travel blind, and you know that she will trust you, for she's touched your perfect body with her mind. Oh, and Jesus was a sailor when he walked upon the water, and he spent a long time watching from his lonely wooden tower. And when he knew for certain only drowning men could see him, he said, "All men will be sailors then, until the sea shall free him." And he himself was broken long before the sky was open, forsaken, almost human. He sank beneath his wisdom like a stone. And he wants to travel with her, and he wants to travel blind. And you think maybe you'll trust her, for she's touched your perfect body with her mind. Do da do da day do 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 da dum dum da la do 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 da 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 You down, and she leads you to the river. She's wearing rags and feathers from Salvation Army counters, and the sun pours down like honey on Our Lady of the Harbor. And she shows you where to look among the garbage and the flowers. There are heroes in the seaweed. There are children in the morning. They are leaning out for love, and they will lean that way forever. While Suzanne holds her mirror. And you wanna travel with her, and you wanna travel blind, and you know that you can trust her, for you've touched her perfect body with her mind. <laughs> That was Suzanne. And before we go any further, uh, I saw a question from somebody there saying the sound. Questions. People commented on it. Yeah, I, it, it's been mentioned a couple times, I guess, um, saying how great the sound is. So shout out to Curtis and Nico who have been here helping us with sound. I guess it's not just us, there are four people, but it's a massive building and we brought our own microphones, don't worry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, who have been rocking it with the sound, also hooking up the live stream giving us the opportunity to actually see your comments, which is so great because that is one of the cool features of the live stream is that we can actually kind of be interactive with you folks out there. But yeah, huge thanks to you guys. It's dark, but you're out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
there are some clap emojis. So that's the, that's the virtual applause. Um, but yeah, we're so grateful to have such a great team here doing sound and helping hook us up into the 2020, uh, the limitations of what 2020 has brought on, I guess. But with that being said, speaking of 2020, um, <laughs> this month we're actually releasing a record. So I have a, uh, a newish band that I've started called Mallory Chipman and the Mystics. And Brett is, of course, one of the Mystics. Um, and we are releasing an album on May 29th. And it's called Aquarian. And um, it is it is kind of been a journey. I wrote it over the course of the last two years. And it's something that is very, very near and dear to my heart because it takes me through, and, and hopefully the listeners as well, um, a lot of different content that are things that I'm passionate about, um, but also some of my own sort of vulnerabilities and reflections. And yeah, I'm really proud of it. Um, it featured Brett Hansen on guitar. It featured Murray Wood on bass, Brian Rain on just about everything, Talisa Mandan on keys, and Sam Maloney on drums, and a couple of other wonderful um, guest artists, including Nazra on spoken word and some backup vocal friends of mine, Emily, Kate, and Vanessa. And so. We're really, really excited about sharing this music with you. If you like the next two tunes, because those are uh, tunes from this record, I swear there's a point to this, um, please do tune in live on May 29th or you know, like us on Facebook or Instagram and just so you can get the, the details of that because I may or may not have actually planned how that's going to work, but we're going to do some sort of online digital celebration in lieu of an in-person CD release. So yeah, stay tuned. And we'd appreciate it, of course, if you check out the record. Um, and I've also been bugging Brett to apply for a grant and record some of his music because as you heard tonight, it's so beautiful. So maybe there will be some of that coming too. Um, this tune is called Queen of Swords. I'm going to move over to the piano for this one.
Right. Well, thank you so much all for tuning in. Uh, it means the world to us. Um, this has been so much fun. <laughs> like Brett and I were talking today at home. We're like, wow, we can't believe we have like a gig. We've done, I think, three outdoor socially distanced like driveway gigs. And they have been a joy also, but they've just been a couple of tunes. And this is a real pleasure to get to actually play a whole set and really dig into some music. Um, I guess we have two more. Do we have two more? Can we go over by five minutes? Yeah, yeah? okay. Um, yeah, the internet will explode if we go over. No. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so this next one is another one from Aquarian, and it was one we released as a single in, I want to say March. Um, yeah, and it was it's one that I wrote long ago, but it is definitely feeling more prevalent and relevant than ever. This is called Fruits. Sweet mother, where she's calling our names loud, reaching out with arms wide open. It's time for beasts and birds to speak out, reclaim all the rights we've stolen. We don't know what it's like to live down at the bottom of the chain. But and so for fashion, I've been told that acting out's the only way. So bite down on the fruits of affinity, fruits of harmony, no more fruits of the factory. It's all for one and one for all you'll see We're all breathing, beings busy Your heart beats Power drips down on your glossy lips The thirst for life just wanna taste Domesticated dominance must be abated Let us set the pace So ready or not, here I come Life isn't a trophy to be You know what you've done. Say that thou once you know what you've done, 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 done.
<laughs> um, we just saw some devil horns go up on on the Yardbird live comments, which is definitely top three emojis for both of us. Um, <laughs> so let's hear it virtually for Red Hanson on guitar. Woo! He is rocking it. Um, it is such a pleasure to play music with him, and we've been doing lots of that Hold Up Alone. I, uh, funnily, in Stars Fell on Alabama, there was one lyric just while I was singing it right now, and it's like, a fairy land that no one else can enter, and at the center, just you and me. And I was like, wow, we have really been living that life for the past, since March 14th or whenever our last uh, outing was before all this. So, yeah, how fitting. Um, but my name's Mallory Chipman. Once again, thanks to Curtis and Nico and everybody on the Yardbird team for uh, being a part of setting this up. Like I said also earlier, um, but you might have missed it if you were tuning in a little bit later on, every Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday from 7 to 8, there are going to be stri uh, streams from the Yardbird Suite Facebook page. And they're free to view, and we'd really encourage you to check them out and uh, check out some of this amazing local talent. So, um, yeah. We... It, to actually be putting on these streams, Brett just reminded me, um, it is due to the generosity of the Edmonton Community Foundation and the Edmonton Arts Council as well. So huge thanks to them. They've been doing a lot of that great work supporting many arts institutions in Edmonton, and I think that it's safe to say that we are all very grateful for that, whether you're playing or listening to any of these. It's really special to have that support. Um, we want to emphasize that... Uh even though that we might not be able to go out and see live music right now or go see live theater or any a lot of art forms, um, please still support artists that you care about, uh, whether that's you know follow them uh, online or subscribe to a Patreon or get some lessons or, or buy some art. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really important um, a really important time for community to stand up for what we believe in as artists and uh, and really come together so we can get through this kind of crazy time uh, together. So um, once again, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting us. Uh, we hope you continue to do to do that with other artists and uh, and the Yardbird Suite, of course. Um, we're very grateful to have them. Um, so let's keep it happening. <laughs> um, you want to introduce the last one? Sure. Um, yeah. So this last tune is a really, really beautiful song. Um, it's one of those songs that, like, I kid you not, I, I think it might be one of my top favorite melodies ever. Um, this is a composer that my grandpa showed me uh, years ago. And, yeah, I mean, my grandpa was a big part of, or a, the, the Yardbird was a big part of my grandpa's life, and I thought this would be a fitting kind of song to include here. Um, but also because seasonally it's fitting, and so it has all of these connections. It's a song by Michel Legrand. So he wrote some really, really iconic tunes, including this next one we're going to play, um, Windmills of Your Mind, which is another favorite of ours, and several others. And my grandpa got the opportunity to work on a show called Michel Legrand Presents that was basically um, where, wherein he was doing some sort of musical directing or something like that and got to know him a little bit, which I think is the coolest thing ever because I'm like, this is one of the most amazing com composers in the world, I'm pretty sure, uh, if this tune is any example of that. I hope you'll agree. This is called You Must Believe in Spring, and it is a song of hope, and I think we can all use that at this time. When lonely feelings chill The meadows of your mind Just think if winter comes Can spring be far behind Beneath the deepest snows The secret of a rose Is merely that it knows You must believe in spring Just as a tree is sure Its leaves will reappear It knows its emptiness Is just the time of year The frozen mountain dreams Of April's melting streams How 
crystal clear it seems you must believe in spring you must be It's on its way Just like the sleeping rose Awaits the kiss of May So in a world of snow Of things that come and go Where what you think you know You can't be certain of You must believe in spring Thank you so much.